We have never been formally introduced. Dorian Lord. Great. Look, you seen David Vickers anywhere? I was supposed to give him a tennis lesson. He didn't even make it to the locker room. Actually, he uh, just passed me a moment ago on his way out. He got a call, an emergency from um, the hospital where he's been working. And, um, well, it sounded like something he couldn't avoid. Yeah, well, he's not going to be able to avoid paying for this lesson. You can tell him I said that. Excuse me. Oh, I will. Todd. What? Could I buy you a drink? No. Oh. I guess you don't want to drink on the job. No, I just don't want to drink with you. What an utterly disgusting human being. The only way you're going to accomplish that is by having you drink with me. Haven't you heard? I never take no for an answer. Look, you're wasting your time with this let's be friends routine. I know what you're after. Oh, what's that? You've been driving yourself nuts trying to figure out what Blair and I were doing when you drive by her place today. Well, you can save your keep your hands off my knee speech. We're just friends. I'll be so relieved if it stays that way. Boys are tough enough to play football. I wanted to be a football player when I grew up. Yeah. I'm telling you. I don't know about that boy thing, CJ. Blair's uh, pretty tough when she wants something. Well, uh, that's a compliment, uh, I think. <laughs> I am about to get sick to my stomach, Alex. Hey, look, Sarah. There's Todd. Hey, Todd. Hi. <laughs> Guys, haven't seen you in a while. We missed you. How was Christmas? The best. We got a lot of cool presents. And Blair's were the greatest. Yeah. Blair really knows how to give a Christmas gift, doesn't she? Uh, you guys got some nice gifts from other people. Tell Todd about those. Daddy got us brand new ice cream. And Uncle David got us a kitten. A kitten? Wow, you must have liked that, huh? You know that... The best present I ever got was a little puppy that my mom gave me for my fifth birthday. I cannot believe that Court associates with that rapist. You think that's bad? That's not bad enough. Why is he letting his kids hang around with that witch Blair Daimler? I mean, you should take a look over there. I swear to God, she was Mary Poppins. I don't know, honey. She must be doing something right. She certainly is warming her way into his life, isn't she? I'll tell you something. I'm going to find a way to get her out of his life. It's just the last thing I do. So, Todd, you're working here now, huh? You got the job? That's great. Yeah, well, I'm cleaning up the locker room mostly, and I'm teaching a few tennis lessons. It's no big deal, but this is a paycheck. Hey, look, Sarah. Grandpa Ace is here, too. Come on, Lou. Let's go say hello. Yeah. Uh, you know what, you guys? You run along and say hello to Grandpa, and I'll get us a table. How's that sound to you? Good idea? Yeah. Yeah, I think that's a real good idea. Uh, excuse us. Come on, kids. Let's go. Well, things seem to be going great between you and Cowboy Cord. He hasn't blown you off for his family in, uh, what, a week? <laughs> you are just full of clever remarks today, aren't you? And I especially love the one about a Christmas present. That was a riot. Sorry. Couldn't resist. In the future, resist. Oh, look, I guess I just got presents on the brain. Hmm. Today's my birthday. Happy birthday. Thanks. Oh, and don't worry about it. I don't expect any gifts. Look, I will get you a present. I'm just not going to get you a present like I gave you for Christmas. That's all. And I do hope that uh, our little secret remains a secret. Yeah, well, I hope so, too. What is that supposed to mean? Well, I didn't say anything, but your big mouth aunt is... She's been after me. I think she may be on to us. Well, she has a thing for younger men. Yeah. From what I hear, I'm a little too old for her. Anyway, after she wouldn't give up, I figured she must be after something. Well, that's a good guess when it comes to Dorian. Yeah, well, she caught us together at your place, so I started to figure that maybe she was getting suspicious about what's going on between us. Todd, nothing is going on between us. Look, I know that, okay? Look, I don't want to have this conversation any more than you do. All I was doing was warning you because... Maybe she's going to pounce on you next. Todd, 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 wait a minute. 
thank you for the warning. And happy birthday. Whatever. Blair? You and Todd you just seem to be very close. One might even say intimate. <laughs> well, one might be wrong. Blair, I'm very concerned about you. Don't get defensive. Look, I would love to sit here and have this wonderful conversation with you, Aunt Dorian. But I'm with Cord today, so excuse me. 